What is going on guys? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are covering a real piece of human garbage. A waste of human flesh, if you will. The man on your screen, his name is Dale Drizwicki. He's a 46-year-old man who has pled guilty to a number of charges including trafficking and child molestation. In November of 2020, Douglas County officials say that a 13-year-old girl ran away from her mother's Cobb County home. And while walking, the teen was approached by an unidentified man who offered her a ride and reportedly took her to his home in Douglas County. According to the Douglas County District Attorney's Office, once they arrived at the man's home, the man contacted Dale Drizwicki, 46 years old, and offered sex with the minor in exchange for drugs. Eventually, Drizwicki picked up the victim and kept her at his Douglas County home for nearly three months, according to authorities. The attorney's office said that during the, that time, Drizwicki sexually abused the child repeatedly and kept her intoxicated by, by giving her drugs and alcohol. Officials say that they found disturbing evidence on Drizwicki's phone that showed that he made threats against the minor when she declined to have sex with him. In January of 2021, the victim was reportedly able to leave the home and contacted her mother. Authorities said that her mother called police resulting into, in an investigation into the case. On June the 5th of 2023, Jaswicki pled guilty to the trafficking of persons for sexual servitude, rape, statutory rape, enticing a child for indecent purposes, child molestation, and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The judge sentenced Drizwicki to life and served 25 years. I don't get that. Life and serve 25 years? So hopefully it's 25 years on top of a life sentence, if I'm reading that correctly. I'm not sure. Because if he only has to serve 25 years, that judge definitely needs to be disbarred, in my opinion. I'm tired of seeing people get slaps on the hand for crimes against humanity such as this. But hopefully it is a life sentence and 25 years on top of that. Because this piece of shit never needs to see the outside of a cell again. And he needs to be put in general population so that the same things can happen to him as he did to this little girl. But that is the story out of Georgia, guys, where this piece of shit committed some of the worst crimes against humanity against a 13-year-old child. So hopefully he has to spend the rest of his life in jail and he's never able to breathe outside of a penitentiary again. Do me a favor, guys. Give the video a like. It does help the channel out. And... Uh, Certainly share this out to your social media. People need to see what type of trash human beings are breathing on this earth. I'm glad he did get sentenced, and I'm glad he's off the streets, and I hope he never, ever is allowed anywhere near a child again. As always, guys, I do want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another, and I'll see you soon in the next one.